normally, right around 10 years old, um, uh, you can tell there's certain quality in fighters, just like any sport, like in basketball or baseball. Um, the movements, reflexes, uh, you're not really going to tell too much about power, but some kids actually at 10 or, or 12 years old, they do seem to hit harder than other kids. And that's a quality, obviously, that in the pros is very, it, it's very attractive. Right around 15 years old, as a promoter, you can start looking at kids when they're right around 15, 16 years old. It's right before they go into the open division, and uh, they have to be at least 16 in most countries, and I think it's 17 here in the U.S., to be able to participate in the Olympics. So that's right around the age you start looking at. Anything before that, anything could happen. A lot of kids get bored with boxing. Uh, I've seen kids before, with, in my experience, that started boxing when they were right around eight years old, and by the time they, they got to 11 or 12, they just they left boxing. And they had a lot of potential. Um, they're very good. They're very very good boxers right around that age, and then they just gave up. They gave up on boxing because the the, the discipline is so hard. The discipline, the sport itself, is it's a tough sport. So uh, they give up in boxing. So I would say if if as a scout, as a boxing scout, um, right around 15 years old, 16 years old is when you start scouting kids and you start keeping an eye on them. Anything before that, you really don't pay attention because anything can happen. The pinnacle of amateur boxing is the Olympics. It's the difference between making that much money as a professional and making that much money as a professional. So it's, it's the top of the sport. The Olympics is the ultimate goal for any, any amateur. It's, it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, their background, how they grew up, if, if, is their father involved or not? We have a saying in boxing, and it's, it's a little, it might be a little cruel, but I, I think the same goes with any sport. But some of the best athletes in boxing and in any other sport are orphans, believe it or not, especially in boxing. Because they're the ones that, that they learn on their own. They're not really pushed. Because you have a lot of fathers that are very pushy. But some, some of these fighters that, that, are grown, that have grown up without their fathers, they're, they're doing it because they want to. Because most mothers won't want to push their, their sons into boxing. It's, it's, it's brutal. It's a brutal sport. But a lot of these kids, they do, they're doing it because they have the love for the sport. They have the desire. And they're the ones that are getting up every day and doing it because they want to. Well, there, there's a certain standard that we go by in, in the business, um, but it really depends on the fighter. It depends what kind of fighter he is. If it's a fighter, like I said, that's coming out of the Olympics, the sky's the limit. Uh, it's, it's negotiable. Um, you can, it's, it really is, the sky's the limit. You really can't put a price on it. It really depends what, what, what kind of fighter he is. Um, but if it's a, it's a, it's a kid that it's not coming out of the, you know, that he's not, he, he didn't make the Olympic team and is just becoming a professional, coming out of, of the amateur ranks. Uh, normally, they can make anywhere from $100 a round to like $200 a round, right around there. And they normally start fighting four rounders or six rounders, so they can make anywhere between four or five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars starting off most of the successful fighters came from nothing and most Latinos are, are poor so it's a way out of uh, the ghetto it's a way out of poverty and uh, that's why they're successful because nobody likes to get hit it hurts <laughs> There has to be a story behind every fighter. You have to be able to make a connection with the fans that are going to be buying tickets, with the fans that are going to be watching on television. Uh, it's kind of like a football game. Um, let's say you're from Chicago, and uh, the Chicago Bears are going to be playing. Well, they're from Chicago. So obviously you're going to want to watch 
the Super Bowl. They make it to the Super Bowl. So it's kind of like that. You got to have some sort of connection.